Winter Surf Park, really important win again tonight for Chelsea. I know it's the end of the season, but you want to win as strong as possible. You've got a chance of fifth place now. But an- another Watch night, you, another another night where you just look like a very very classy team for large parts. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. Thursday night's booked. Uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. Listen, I might not. I'm I'm sorry. I might not Spurs in fifth place right now. Um, that's what I'm doing because I, I might as well. I am lining up first because let's face it, they're, they're not playing for anything. Um, it was a very good performance. I'll just say, on one hand, Reese James, you're an idiot, an absolute idiot for what you just did today. You're out for the four games now. I just found out he's out for the first three next season as well. The absolute moron, but more I'll get that out of the way. Yeah, we played well, um, in more uh, for most of the game. Uh, Cole Palmer's goal, what a header that was, the way he directed that in. Um, and Cuckoo finally got to see that balloon celebration in the Premier League, so that was all good. Tick, um, but like I say, big up for Caicedo again. Uh, massive performance going back. There can always be one thing you can always sometimes struggle going back to a club like that. Um, but it was just an all round, all round good performance. Cucurera again. Um, sort of mixed up to left. He started off left back, then inverted and went back to left back. Um, it's an all round good performance. Poch is picking the same team, uh, which is also good. Um, and we're starting to add our add our injuries back to it at the right time. And like I said, I, I don't care if it sounds arrogant. I think we can finish fifth because I don't think Sp- uh, Spurs are on the beach. Spurs play Sheffield, though. That's the problem. Uh, I know. I'm, not, I'm, I'm thinking they'll do a Spursy thing. They'll be 1 0 down and, until like the seventh minute of injury time. And then score an equaliser to finish a point ahead of us. But listen, um, the Poch in and out debate for me is not a debate anymore because I think he'll stay anyway if we finish in the Europa League spot. Um, uh, but yeah, so it was a very, very good performance. And I can't can't say anything more than that, really. Um, I'd like to say, apart from the other VAR stuff, I, I agree with the penalty, but I just can't believe Lamptey, uh, stay. I can't believe Lamptey didn't get a red card. I just... I don't know. It's that's that's the thing with that. It's not VAR. It's the people running VAR. That's the problem. And it's not VAR is fine. It's absolutely fine. It's just that it's just the idiots that they can think. Someone thinks Lamptey's was on a red card. Reese James was a red card, obviously. But I just don't know what anyone's thinking. But we move on. Um, Bournemouth at the weekend finished strong, finishing up three points, and let's see if Spurs could be Spursy one more time this season. Yeah, they are playing Sheffield United, but with the mentality they demonstrated last They're night really cool. um, and the sort of and, and, and the weird sort of turmoil that's fallen over Tottenham in the last 24 hours with most big and in sort of fans, they've all turned on him because he's basically said they're all a bunch of losers and they're all upset because they've been called out by their manager. And the, we know these things creep into dressing rooms or they can creep into dressing rooms. Don. Don, 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 uh, another very, very good night for Chelsea. Palmer again, Palmer again, ole, ole, Palmer again, ole, ole, hey, you know what I'm saying? 41 GA in his first season, yeah? When people were trying to call me deluded in the summer, yeah? And I told everyone this guy's a baller. I'm back again, you know what I'm saying? Another goal for this guy. <laughs> and he could have even got an assist today. 41 GA with no Europe, bro. Oh, but he scored 10 <laughs> penalties, so none of it counts. I do not see even crazy about that, Steve. Yeah, baller, this bro. guy has scored a wide variety of goals. Chelsea, bro. Steve. Hat tricks, bro. Yeah, back to back Stamford Bridge. You know what I'm saying? Headers, you know, left foot, right foot. All sorts of goals, bro. All sorts of goals. This guy is just only going to get better. And it was so refreshing to see him on the pitch today with Nkuku. Because Nkuku is another one that we've missed basically all season. You know what I'm saying? And this guy just oozes quality. The way he just gets the ball. The, the natural ability. This is what I say to you, Terry, all the time. These are my favourite type of footballers. These guys that just make it look so easy. Yeah, you think I just like these guys that look good on the eye? No, 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 no. There's end product on the end of it. Because he came on today and he scored again. You know what I'm saying? And he's barely even played. He's got, what, two more goals than Anthony in how many less minutes? You know what I'm saying? So listen. Oh, but, listen, when it comes to just on that, when it comes to Nkunku, he, he, when you sign him and when you sign Kyle Palmer, I was exactly the same as you. I thought you signed two absolute quality players in the making and i agree and players that have great individual ability and they produce output are the very best the players that look good but don't produce anything 
I ain't got no, I haven't got no time for, for, for fur coats and no knickers. I just want yeah. output. But the two you mentioned, absolutely top, top class. But you as a team, Don, as a team, this last five, six, seven games especially, you've found your midfield partnership that works. You've mm. found your kind of front group that work. And I think and uh, uh, Kunku's got to come into that potentially. But you've really yeah. found your formula. Poch has really made it work. He's really turned your team around. Yeah, no, listen, you got to give him, you got to give him, obviously, props for what he's doing. But the annoying thing, like you lot, what you're saying about Ten Hag, it's a little too late. I don't know why Hussam's doing this about, oh, oh, Poch this and Poch that. End of the day, he has proven what a lot of Chelsea fans have been telling you about these players. Because you keep saying these players are crap, these players are this and these players are that. We know these men are not world class. We know that, bro. But end of the day, they're professional footballers. But the way that a lot of people have been talking about these Chelsea players is as if they can't, they, they, they can't kick a ball, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And for me, the main thing is... Who, who's the second guy you mentioned, Don? Who's the second player Kuku. you mentioned? Kuku. Yeah, where has he been all season long? Yeah, but bro, it doesn't matter about that. Yeah, we, but bro, it doesn't matter. Like this no, all season. No, have we been matter. set up like this all season, bro? We haven't been set up, set up like this all season. You know what I'm saying? And I, like I said to you, Terry, if week after week I saw that Poch was setting the team up correctly, bro, I'd crash it more on the players because then it's up to the players to go and perform. Do you know what I'm saying? But the same way people say, oh, these players need to be better in front of goal, it's the same way that I've got the same logic for Poch. He had to be better tactically. And it's only now where it's showing a little bit of consistency, you know? So listen, if he stays, I hope he carries on like this next season because we can't go back to, you know, depending on Cole Palmer. We can't we can't go back to Caicedo, Lone Island again. Caicedo's even dyed his hair like Cisco now. He's even looking like Cisco in the midfield running about. Do you know what I'm saying? Baby, the thumb, the thumb, thumb, thumb. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So, end of the day, like I said, yeah, listen, it's a little bit too late. Um, obviously, now we only need a draw to to finish against, uh, f- f- sorry, finish sixth um, uh, for this season. And no, nah, screw it. We're going for fifth. We're going for fifth, though. We're going for fifth. I believe we're doing. Do you want to say about Cole Palmer? I've been looking. I've been looking at this way. We've been talking. He is surpassed. He is now, I think it's 3GA ab- above Eden Hazard's best ever season for you. Yeah, yeah. And listen, props to him for that. Props to him for that. You know what I mean? Eden Hazard, Eden Hazard wasn't the goal too for the goals. He was more of an orchestrator. Completely different. You know what I'm saying? And for me, people talk about Hazard's goals as if he wasn't good in front of goal. Hazard was a clean finisher, bro. Clean, clean finisher. But the difference was he was just more of an orchestrator. And he, he played in a, in, in, a, in a bad team towards the end of his time at Chelsea. Do you know what I'm saying? But anyway, this ain't an Eden Hazard. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. This, this is not. Hang on, let me let me just let me just drag this back. Cole Palmer's also playing in a bit. What's been a poor team? This is not a dig. This is not a dig at Eden yeah. Hazard in any capacity. Don, 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 Don. I know he's your boyfriend, but let's just calm down a little second here, bro. <laughs> sure I am not sure that. Wipe that, wipe that, wipe that. I am. I know he's your wifey, but I am I am not I am not <laughs> oh, lagging off Eden Hazard. Oh, I am, intended. Oh, I am, dem- I am intended. demonstrating how good Cole Palmer has been when one of the greatest players your club has ever seen. He has now outproduced him. That for me, for Cole Palmer, deserves huge props in no, right. probably the most dysfunctional Chelsea team that's existed in the last 30, 40 years. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Listen, I agree with that. And for me, Terry, listen, I just want to speak about Deserbi as well, isn't it? Because for me today, this is the third game in a row now that Brighton have, have been a problem. Yeah, real, real problem. You know what I'm saying? Today, if he has better players in that final third, we potentially lose that game, bro. Because they were... They should have us on Saturday, dog. Bro, they were popping us about. In that second half, we resorted to countering. Yeah, like Jackson, he was in front of goal. He could have just played it there to Palmer. Uh, sorry, to Nkuku. He decided to just keep dribbling. Even Palmer had a chance to just play it across to Nkuku as well. And he decided to go and shoot. You know, so we need to take that out of the game because these lot are still young. They're still learning. But we need to be a little bit less selfish in front of goal. Do what Madweke did the other day. We just give it to Jackson. Because Cole Palmer could have got another assist today. Do you know what I'm saying? But end of the day, for me, like I said with De Zerbi, his stocks have dropped this year because of how, how Brighton have dropped off in comparison to last year. Mm. But you have to take into context the team he's working with right now. Yeah, Brighton were better than us in large parts today. Better than us in large parts. The way, bro, the way they were just beating that press, because we pressed well from the front. Yeah, but the way they were just beating that press... And when they hit the bar as well, it came from from beating the press quite high. Do you know what I'm saying? So Yo, Brighton, listen, he's a hipster. He's a hipster. He's a hipster. He's not a good coach. He's a hipster. Yo, if, 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 if we were playing like if we were playing like the way Brighton played today with our attack, we batter Brighton. In my Wait, hold on, hold on. I got a question. I got a question. Don, you said it's a little too late. What does that mm-hmm. mean? Does that mean you want Poch gone or what? Nah, nah. What it is for me, bro. Listen, I wanted Poch when he came in. I'm happy with what he's doing at the minute. If it's up to me, bro, I still get rid of him. You know what I'm saying? Because I've, I've, 
I've got a guy who I think will get more out of the team that we've got. Yeah, consistently. What deserve? What deserve? Yes, yes, for me, right? That's, oh that's my me. god! I think I, I think would get. I think he would get more out of this team that we've got. And for me, I, I still don't trust Poch. There's a, there's a lot of rectifying that he needs to do. But if he carries on doing this, bro, I've got I ain't got an agenda. Like I, I want him to prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? And right now he's proving me wrong. You know what I'm saying? So let him carry on. If he stays, yo, and he carries on doing what he was doing earlier, sack him before Christmas. But if he gets better, so be it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's gonna win us stuff, but I expected this guy to build the foundation. And this is building the foundation yeah. what he's doing right now. You know I, I hear 